wildly popular mail application Spark just made the jump from iPhone to the big screen of the iPad and iPad Pro. So we're going to take a quick look review of Spark for iPad. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the new Spark email application for iPad. Now one of the new features that they released alongside iPad support is iCloud Sync. It'll now sync any accounts that you have between your iPhone, your iPad, or any other devices that you're logged in with. They still have those smart notifications that will intelligently let you know when you get an email from someone that you care about versus like a spam mail. And of course there are still a myriad of different cloud accounts that you can sign in with. Now while I love those smart notifications, you can go with all or none as well. And those can be set up on an account by account basis. And this is what it looks like. It's a very simple and modern email app. When creating an email itself, you can pull from your iCloud drive or any number of other cloud services that you can connect to the application. You can attach photos, obviously, from your photo library. But otherwise, creating an email is not all that interesting. And they've said they've tried to keep this interface simple. One new feature is the addition of a calendar. Simply tapping on that calendar icon on the left will have a menu slide out. You can obviously view all of your calendar appointments and you can create new ones right from inside this application. There are a few different email clients that do this and one that does it particularly well is Outlook. Now below that calendar widget, we have the attachments widget. This will show you all the different attachments throughout your emails. And below that, we have the recently seen widget. This will simply show you all the emails that you've recently been looking at. Now if we go into one, you can see these quick replies. These can be customized and this was also in the iPhone version of the application. You can choose from here, you can go to the more menu and add some additional ones or customize them, and you can even undo them within a few seconds of that reply. Your default view will be the smart inbox. It categorizes everything with your unread on top, your pinned messages below that, and the inbox below that. You can perform long or short swipes on your messages that was popularized by the ill-fated mailbox application. They have the default ones that are pretty popular, but you can go in there and customize those if there are other actions you would like to perform. My favorite is being able to swipe on one and save it directly to Evernote. While this may not have as many customizations as AirMail, this has a ton of them. There are connected services that you can add. You can customize the smart inbox and how you want that to display. Here is where you can also come and customize the different swipes, both the long and short from the left and the right. It has all the common ones, as well as all the different services you can save that message to. And you can choose which widgets display, including the three that are there, calendar, attachments, and recently seen. There's plenty more to go through, but I think another one that is important to look at is snoozes. You can customize the length of those snoozes, and you can choose which notification actions you have. That's like on your lock screen when you swipe across the message, you have those two different options. So by default, it's marked as read and archive. Now, as part of the small population of iPad Pro users, I appreciate this was not just developed for the iPad, but the iPad Pro as well. It looks absolutely great on that really big screen. They've also built in multitasking, so you can do the two thirds and one third, as well as 50-50 between this and any other application. Now this was a huge update for Spark, and now this really brings it full circle because this works on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. So regardless of what device you're going to be using, there is a lot of features here. This was updated for Watch OS 2.0 as well, so it will work better for those people who use an Apple Watch. If you liked Spark, you can find a link in the description below, and please let us know in the comments what you think of Spark or what your favorite mail application is. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.